my last solo lobby method video has caused some confusion because some part of it is incorrect and some part of it is missing. So today I record a new tutorial showing this method and explain it more clearly and more correctly. I hope by following all the steps this time will make you succeed. First of all, you need a PC which is connected to the router. Both your console and the PC are connected to the same router. As you are playing the console, the PC must be running a program to block the port. Okay. Secondly, download the program I supplied. The download link is in the description. Next, install WimpCap. Uh, there is a install file in the download link, but uh, it's for Win7. If your system is not Win7, go search and download one compatible to your system. Next, open the folder and patch it. Uh, this file is for patch. Then run the program. Now we can see on the left side is the router's address. Now remember, every time you want to make a solo lobby, delete the old address and create a new address. Okay? So we now delete the old address by clicking on the third button on the right. Okay? Delete and create a new one. Create a new one. Start the program. Click here. Start detection. This is the list. Your console should appear on the list. Uh, let me start my console. As you can see, there are two connections on the list. But as soon as my console start, it is detected and there are three connections. The third one is my console. However, sometimes my console is not detected. In that case, you need to go to system setting, internet, and uh, select disconnect and uh, reconnect. And then your console will be detected. Right click your console and uh, select the first one, add new. We add a new rule and name it. I name it Xbox. Then select ACL. In the panel, first tick off this one and add a new. Uh, the first one, add new. Now enter 6672. Uh, that's the port number. 6672. Then select the last one. Uh, it means any IP. This is the last one too. Uh, uh, this select UDP, UDP. And this one, 6672. Click yes. Now we have added a uh, new port. Uh, don't forget to tick off this one before we click OK. Uh, first tick off this one. And uh, this OK. Now we go to the game post menu and select the PVP mode. Now back out the free room and open interaction menu. Select change appearance. And then quit from the change appearance menu. Quit. Now go to program, select the third one, and I choose the rule we just created. Click yes, and I click this one. Start blocking. Now, 
I go to the game and test whether I block the port successfully. I go to my moonshine shack and as you can see, the icon on the map disappear and reappear. After it reappear, I check the lobby. If the lobby stays solo, that means I successfully block the port and no one will join after that. If the lobby become repopulated, I failed. That means I failed. I need to start from the beginning. That means you need to go back to this step. Delete the old address and create a new address. Then create a new rule, add a new port, and repeat the whole process until you successfully uh, block the ports and make a solo lobby.